Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Please. Good afternoon. Uh, Animesh ji. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, <coughs> we will ask you certain questions. If you know the answer, please uh, give. Else you may say no. In case you want to guess, seek permission. Uh, okay, sir. But guess only when you are reasonably sure. Yeah. Wild guessing, it only gives the impression that uh, neither you know the ans correct answer nor you know the question of the answer which you are giving. So try to avoid it. Are you comfortable? Hai? <coughs> yes, sir. Shuru kar sakte hai? Yes, sir. One nation, one election is being debated upon. Right? A committee is there under the ch chairmanship of uh, our earlier uh, president, they are working on that. Now I want to know what is your viewpoint to make it feasible, what are the major issues which need to be tackled and can they be tackled? One nation, one election. Uh, sir, the major issues in this regard would be uh, this uh, one nation one election concept would require a constitutional amendments because uh, a constitution requires uh, uh, grants a normal five year tenure for the assemblies and uh, the central parliament but uh, when whenever we start this one election one election uh, one nation one election concept uh, the normal tenure of uh, many state assemblies will have to be curtailed so as to uh, restart from a fresh cycle and sir, so, uh, secondly, uh, I would say uh, on whether it is desirable. First, you make the comment on that. If it is desirable, then the question of how it can be done is it desirable? Sir, Your views. Uh, it is desirable, uh, sir. However, there are some uh, federal challenges. Like uh, it has been said that uh, simultaneous elections might uh, affect the. Uh, might uh, the national issues might overshadow the regional issues and national parties might have uh, an upper hand. Earlier, it, uh, they used to happen. Up to which year they happened? So the first four general uh, general election cycles up to 1967. 1967. What went wrong thereafter? And why? Uh, so uh, thereafter, uh, there was some uh, premature dissolution of uh, state assemblies, imposition of residence rule, uh, like in Kerala. So these were these led to. So it means election. that it was earlier happening. Certain later events, and they might have been uh, means there may be a means amendment in the constitution as well. I mean, so I'm not discounting on that. But later events, they compared to the current situation, where uh, we have landed in the current situation with this. It means that it is feasible. It was done. Then where is the issue? It can be done again. Sir, hona chahiye or nahi hona chahiye, aapke hisab se. Sir, uh, the main challenge is it is feasible, <coughs> but however, uh, it is not very sustainable in the long term because uh, being a parliamentary democracy, uh, there are uh, chances that uh, a ruling government might lose the confidence of the people midway. And uh, the house might might be dissolved. Abhi apne representative ki baat ki. Ye India ki democracy kis type ki jo hai wo democracy hai? Or kis principles pe aadharit hai? Sir, India has an indirect democracy uh, based on parliamentary system and a republic uh, nation. Or uh, kis uske upar ye hai? Kuch representative de democracy koi baat hoti hai? Yes, sir. It has an indirect representative democracy where uh, it, it is based on which principle? I'm sorry, sir. I'm not. Koi baat nahi. Koi baat nahi. Uh, India pre 2014 and post 2014. Agar aap se kaha jaye what difference you notice in India pre 2014? Post 2014, some four or five points in case you can give. 
Um, so, uh, firstly, I would say uh, there have been an increase in capital expenditure post 2014. Uh, more uh, focus on infrastructure and buildings and machinery has been pushed by the government. Uh, secondly, uh, coming to the uh, taxation system, particularly the indirect taxes, uh, GST was introduced, which uh, based on the principles of one nation, one tax, which has uh, reduced the tax burden, reduced the multiplication of taxes. Uh, thirdly, I would say uh, uh, there has been a more of a technological push, particularly in the startup ecosystem. India is now the third largest ecosystem when it comes to startups. Uh, also, fourthly, uh, something was done on 22nd January 2024. What was the event, major event? Mm -hmm. so, uh, Can you give the background of that? Yes, sir. sir uh, since uh, many uh, centuries, uh, uh, initially in Ayodhya, uh, the Babri Masjid was constructed in place of uh, Sri Ramji's birthplace. Uh, however, uh, after a long continued struggle of many uh, of many Indians, uh, uh, since particularly since the 1980s and 1990s, many uh, legal battles were fought in the High Court, Supreme Courts to uh, reclaim that particular Jan Bhumi of Sri Ramji and uh, finally, uh, finally through the hard work of the people uh, in 2019 our Supreme Court uh, gave the judicial approval through a 5-0 uh, majority to, uh, to construct a Ram Temple uh, in that particular place and also awarded a, a location nearby for the construction of the uh, Masjid. Uh. What is the significance uh, of religious tourism? Potential of religious uh, significance, to, uh, potential of religious tourism, in particular, and tourism in general in India. Sir, so, uh, the significance of uh, religious tourism uh, has many uh, economic potential. Like it can increase the uh, income revenue uh, of the of the government through more taxes and also the increase in foreign exchange earnings can be can be gained through in case of foreign tourists uh, so thirdly it can uh, it can also boost, boost local employments and uh, the it can uh, promote the local arts and crafts in the which are uh, which are uh, uh, showed in the nearby nearby tourist places around that for example around the uh, ram temple and also this uh, religious tourism uh, concept has also uh, promoted uh, development in infrastructure for example if we talk about uh, ayodhya then recently why uh, gyan vapi case is in uh, nowadays in news what are the recent developments what is the background and what is the uh, what are the recent developments uh, so uh, the gyan vapi uh, mosque is said to be uh, constructed at the original uh, place of uh, uh, Kashi Vishwanath temple. It was destroyed uh, and uh, that... Why it is in news uh, nowadays? Uh, sir, nowadays uh, legal battles are being fought in the district courts and the high courts to uh, reclaim that, reclaim the permission to, uh, to worship in that particular area and uh, to grant approval to uh, construct a temple uh, at that particular place. Uh, in which background this case is being fought, Nyanbapi is, Nyanbapi case. What is the differing views between the two sects? Sir, uh, main differing views include the Place of Worship Act. Place of Worship Act. Now, with that act in place, some survey has been done, ASI survey has been done recently. Now some development has taken place in last 24 hours, 48 hours or 72 hours. What is that? So I'm not sure but I think the report was uh, uh, allowed to be published. Okay. Yes, sir. And then something more has happened. Um, sir, as far as I remember, uh, I think the permission was granted to the devotees to uh, worship in that, uh, in, in the Gyanvapi Mosque area. Okay.